Good afternoon, and thank you for being with us for this time of daily prayer. It's Wednesday, the 24th of February. Our scripture today comes from Romans 4, verses 13 to 25. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If it is the adherents of the law who are to be the, the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, for he is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist, hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations. According to what was said, so numerous shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead, for he was about a hundred years old. And when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb, no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, and he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Therefore his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now the words, it was reckoned to him, were written not for his sake alone, but for ours. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was handed over to death for our trespasses, and was raised for our justification. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in the next daily prayer video. Today, for our joys, we are celebrating uh, Mark and Sandra Shea's wedding anniversary. So, congratulations to the, both of them and many happy returns. For our concerns today, we are remembering what Helen Watson shared with us yesterday. She wrote, please pray for my cousin Judy Philo's daughter, Melanie Slate. Melanie has been in Lewis Scale Hospital fighting COVID pneumonia since Friday afternoon. She has a rare form of asthma and is struggling to breathe. She is also a very bad diabetic. We're also to continuing to pray for George Pearson and for Dan Shelton, as well as Lynn and Susie. Also are remembering J.R. Fitzgerald, who is the husband of our financial associate, Charlene. He has very bad back trouble. Today also we're praying uh, for Bob and Barbara Booth. Uh, Bob is my father-in-law and he is now in the hospital uh, looking at the prospect of having open heart surgery to have a stent put in and his wife Barbara uh, was recently diagnosed with cancer. Uh, finally, um, we've recent, we have recently uh, reached the 500,000 mark uh, with COVID-19 deaths here in the United States. And of course, when you add all the deaths worldwide, it's in the millions. Uh, so today, in recognition of this, uh, I offer again Bishop Lewis's prayer for those of us living during a time of COVID-19. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are our rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, would place your hand upon all of those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those 
with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your presence that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia United Methodist Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we recite the prayer he taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.